Beam down smoke. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nilo and today we're going to be talking about the absolutely insane price spikes that we've been seeing with a lot of the high tier items such as the Fire Serpent, Howl, and some Doppler Knives that have been happening on marketplaces such as Buff. And we're going to be talking about why exactly this is happening and of course ultimately answering the question, should you invest? Before we talk about that though, let's go ahead and take a quick look at float markets and then we're going to go ahead and get into this video topic. So if you're already a viewer of my channel, then you've probably heard of float market before, but just to go ahead and chuck them out another time, they're a really great site for CSGO item buying and and selling they have low fees they have pretty much anything you could possibly ask for they have an insanely good ui i'm just really in love with the ui on the site and i think they have a lot of good deals on different items as well if you want to go ahead and check them out and see if you like what they do then go ahead and follow the link in the description below and that will support the channel directly Anyway guys, thanks for checking out that link, and let's get into this video. Alright guys, so let's talk about these insane price changes. So as you may have seen, if you are an avid user of buff, stuff like the Howl has gone up like 3,000 RMB over the past few weeks here. Actually, over the past few days, really. And a lot of the stuff like Doppler Gem Knives have risen like crazy as well. There's gonna be some graphs up on the screen so you can see kind of how crazy this spike has actually been for a lot of these high-tier items. Other classically high-tier items, such as the AK-47 Fire Serpent, have also risen quite a lot, and so it kind of begs the question, why exactly are these high-tier items specifically being targeted and why are they rising so much? And the interesting thing there is that it's not really that easy to answer, because another interesting thing is that more items have actually risen in price like crazy, such as the AK-47 Hydroponic, and also some of the other items from those same collections, so for example the AUG Akihabar Accept, and these items have also risen like crazy over the past couple of days or weeks, and it's kind of been just really weird to kind of answer this question as a whole, just because it's a little odd that these random non-generally high tier skins are rising, as well as the general OG god tier skins that have been in the past of CSGO and have always been, you know, high tier skins. So for my take on this, and again, I obviously am not behind the scenes on this, I don't actually know what's happening, but my take on this and what I'm able to observe is that this is probably an example of projecting, people also call this merchanting for example, and I think the main thing here is that these items are actually being projected by some buyers that have a lot of money to spend, so they're targeting these items because they're already very low in quantity and they don't sell super often, they're kind of more like a rare sell, just because the items are so expensive. Basically what this whole projecting thing entails is people are buying the items to rise their price like crazy and then what they're doing is selling those items at the higher price. So what ends up happening is let's say you go ahead and buy five howls for between 10,000 and 12,000 yuan in value and then you sell each of those howls at like 13,000 yuan each. That's going to make you a pretty fat profit because you're going to obviously have a higher valued item that you personally projected. This is actually a fairly valid strategy and it happens in pretty much any digital marketplace. Obviously the people that are selling the items off know that they're going to lower in value over time because the items are inflated, but at the same time they are still just making a pretty honest profit. They're just taking advantage of a specific item setup in the way that it's set up in terms of its volume and the supply of the item and how many are listed for example. And the main thing there is just these people are taking advantage of this, which you know isn't really a huge deal it's not like they're doing anything morally wrong but they are of course doing something that's a little bit more sketchy than just generally earning actual valid profits and that's why this is sometimes referred to as market manipulation as well however there is something very interesting here that has really not happened too much in CSGO in general which I think is pretty interesting to point out and that is the fact that these items that are being market manipulated or projected or merchanted or whatever you want to describe it as basically these items are going to be ones that are still sort of high demand and still items that a lot of people would still buy even at higher prices and they're also items that already have a pretty low supply in general and that are very hard to get your hands on for example the howl and fire serpent like i said and so these items are going to be ones that are actually going to hold their value a lot better and that's actually why we haven't seen a crazy normalization over the past couple of days and a lot of these items have actually stayed at the prices that they were pretty much projected to now i do want to make one thing very very clear and that's the fact that we're actually not sure if this is just a classic example of projection or if it's something entirely different like for example it could just be the fact that these items were rising and then people saw them rising and then continued to buy them, which shot their price higher and higher and higher, and obviously that's not a classic example of projecting. However, just because of how insane this inflation has actually happened, I do think it is actually more projecting rather than a regular market movement. Now, Doppler knives have been specifically pretty interesting, and one specifically interesting thing about them that I think actually lends a little bit more of an argument towards this whole projecting thing is the fact that a lot of these Doppler knives, for example, are actually more expensive in their regular factory new condition rather than their stat track factory new condition. And this is actually pretty unusual. In terms of Doppler gems like butterfly, sapphires, and rubies, the stat track ones are almost always going to be more expensive, so it's a very odd that these regular factory 
new ones are more expensive, and that is probably a little bit more of an argument as to why this is probably projecting. Now to address the silent elephant in the room, that's going to be the hydroponic and the Akihabara Accept, which don't really fall into the same sort of category as these other items. Sure, they are rare and they are low quantity because that's just generally how they were in the past, However, the style of the item and just kind of what the item is as a whole is a lot different than these other items that are rising. So it's actually pretty unusual that these are rising as well. And what I think actually happened is that these items are actually normally rising and then the other items are actually being projected. So for example, the Howl, Fire Serpent, and Doppler Knives are actually being projected or merchanted or whatever you want to call it. And then the Hydroponic and Akihabara Accept, for example, are actually just rising normally. This is also happening to the M4A4 Daybreak, and I think that this is actually a pretty unusual thing, and they have risen a lot, but I think that one is actually a little bit more normal than just the other stuff that is actually probably being projected. So with that out of the way and kind of describing what I think is happening here, again, I'm not the guy projecting the items if there is a guy projecting the items, and I'm also not the person buying the items, so I don't really know exactly what is happening here, and I don't think anyone can know for sure. This is just sort of what I'm able to observe based on the factors here and sort of the evidence that we have. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about investing in this kind of thing for either the future or for right now with this specific rise. All right, so investment-wise, we have some items here that are just going crazy. Items that have risen a lot in value, just totally inflated up. And in general, I would say, yeah, this is probably a good thing to invest into. However, obviously with projections, these are going to really suffer from normalizations as people realize that the higher price point is actually not a legitimate one, and it's actually an inflated one. So they're going to have to lower the value of the item if they want to sell it, which is going to cause the item to sort of naturalize to a more normal price than where people are going to actually buy it at for the time. The interesting thing with these items specifically is the fact that they are actually holding their value very well, probably because of the fact that they're already pretty rare items to begin with. In fact, if you go look at Buffer right now, these items like the Howl, for example, are still maintaining a very high price and have not really lowered all that much at all. With that information being said, one final thing to look at is of course the buy orders, which in fact have actually also risen to meet this inflated price a little bit, not too much. So for example with the M4A4 Howl, despite it going up to 13,000 RMB in value, the buy orders are actually only up at a around the 11,500 range. So that's actually a pretty far cry from what the Howl buy orders usually look like. They're usually pretty close within about 500 at the most. And and so this is obviously a very unusual buy order setup and again more evidence for why this could be projecting. So with all of that information said, should you invest in this wave of projecting that's happening on buff specifically? I would say no. This is going to be normalizing and we're already seeing the beginnings of normalizing with a lot of these items and I think the items are actually going to decrease from now and I don't really think there's a chance for you to actually make any money off of this specifically. However, if the merchanting or projecting occurs in the future for the same items, obviously you will be able to make money on them, but right now it's probably just going to normalize. If you already have these items, I would recommend just to hold on to them and not try to panic sell them just in case the projectors also continue to do it in the future and if they don't then you still have an item that was worth pretty much the same value when you originally bought it if you bought it before this projecting occurred. In general though it is a good way to make some short-term profit if you're able to target some items that are going to be projected and go ahead and buy a couple of them before someone goes and actually projects them for you. It's a valid strategy and it's something that people do a lot. All you really have to do to find items that could be projected in the future is just look for items that have a very low amount of them actually listed and a potential higher amount of them actually in existence as a whole. So for example, if we look up on screen right here, this item is actually very cheap, but it also has a very low amount of them listed, which is very interesting and it's, it's just super odd that the item is so cheap considering how many are listed on the market itself, just because the item doesn't sell very often. So for example, the projector would only have to buy a certain amount of these in order to rise the value of it a lot, which is going to give them a lot of profit if they're able to sell the items off quickly enough. And so the main thing here is just look for those kind of items and you'll be able to kind of capitalize on this and get some short-term profit. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of this discussion over this buff projecting. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button. I have the fastest and quickest investment tips anywhere else on YouTube and, of course, the best ones. And, of course, go ahead and click that notification bell so you don't miss those fast and quick uploads. And also another thing to make sure you do is click that like button if you enjoyed the video and make sure to go ahead and check out my Discord, Twitter, and Reddit and also Float Market in the description below using the links. Anyway guys, thanks again for checking out this video. I'll see you all next time. Peace.